Welcome to my YouTube video where I'm going to give you a little demonstration of the CNC controller that I'm building to run a Grizzly G0704 milling machine. So here we go. So first of all, uh, the case. I looked into purchasing a proper case, but they were pretty expensive. So I decided to build one out of wood and a little bit of diamond plate that I got from Lowe's. Use some rubberized black paint to cover the wood. Seems to do the trick. And most everything that's in the case is mounted on some kind of standoff, so nothing's actually fastened directly to the wood. I suppose I could have screwed everything right down flush with the surface of the wood. It wouldn't have hurt anything, but standoffs made it look a little bit more professional. So, start out with, I have three S-350-60 power supplies. They're 350 watt, 60 volt power supplies. They are running into uh, DM860A uh, stepper drivers that I got from Long's Motor. Also have a 5 volt power supply that I'm using to run anything that needs 5 volts. Up here we have a, a USB smooth stepper, which I purchased this before I knew about the Ethernet smooth steppers, but uh, apparently the Ethernet smooth stepper is a little less uh, susceptible to electrical noise, but I haven't had any problems with the, the USB to speak of, and it really does a great job at, at uh, generating a pulse train. It, it really, as the name implies, it is very smooth. That feeds into a DB25 breakout board, a pretty cheap one. It came from Long's motor with the uh, stepper motors when I purchased them. I also have a two-channel relay that I'm using to uh, switch an outlet, which I'm hoping eventually that'll run a coolant pump or a mister. I'm using both channels. I'm switching both the line and the neutral. I don't know if that's necessary, but it, it made me feel better. So both, uh, both sides are switched. As far as wiring up, the, uh, the high voltage connections inside of this, I, I used 14 AWG uh, appliance wire I got from Home Depot. It's a uh, stranded wire, so it's very flexible and it has the you know proper jacketing on it. It's oil resistant and temperature resistant and all that. There again, not sure if that's totally necessary, but uh, seemed like cheap insurance. Also, I tried to use shrink wrap wherever I could, just to cover up all the connections. Um, I think it offers some a degree of safety, but uh, it also, I think, kind of looks, it makes everything look a little bit more professional, at least as professional as a, a homemade CNC controller can be. I have in the front the main switch, an indicator light, main fuse. I have a connection for an e-stop, just your standard mushroom switch. In the back, I have another fuse for the switch output and also a, a nice heavy duty cooling fan. The power supplies each have a cooling fan built into them. And I can tell you here where I'm at right now, it's probably over 90 degrees. Those cooling fans, they switch on pretty much instantaneously when I power this thing up. So hopefully I have enough air movement in this case that it will keep things from overheating. I'm driving three 1,600-ounce-inch uh, stepper motors, and uh, the wire that I used to connect them was 18AWG uh, four-conductor stranded shielded security system cable, which seems to do a great job. The machine, I'm in the middle of the conversion. I have the Z-axis hooked up right now. The 1600 ounce inch step motor is micro stepping right now. I have it set for four micro steps. So I get a lot of resolution, but I'm probably only getting around 600 ounce inches of torque. But uh, it's more than enough to move that head up and down. I have it running at 50 inches per minute right now. Uh, it runs fine. There's no counterbalances, there's no springs. And really, I, I could run it at a faster uh, rate. 
but uh, I'm still breaking in those dovetails and they, they have some friction. So uh, right now 50 inches per minute is, is plenty fast enough for what I'm doing. I don't really need ultra fast rapids. I'm more concerned with uh, it being accurate. So uh, four micro steps. I believe that the, the resolution is um, two and a half tenths. Uh, point zero 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 two five I believe if it's not that it might be five tenths but uh, it's pretty fine more more than enough resolution to make me happy so okay let me uh, power this thing up and give you a quick demo So there you go, quick demo, I hope that was helpful, and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy your ventures working on your own personal homebrew CNC projects.